My name is Gasali Adeyema. I'm from southwest of Nigeria. I'm indigo artist. My name is Amelia Ortega. I'm from Española, New Mexico. Learning indigo dye and the culture behind it is really awesome because you don't really learn these things. Normally, if you're from a state, you learn something traditional from the state or something traditional to your heritage. And I think it's important to learn about other cultures and meanings and to deepen understanding of the world around us. And I moved to Santa Fe in 1996, and I've been living here almost 20 years. I chose Santa Fe because when I first moved here, I looked, oh wow, Santa Fe to me is like center of craft and culture. And a lot of people willing to learn from me. And also I love to share my my tradition to other different cultures in the global way, in New Mexico as well. It's not only this culture from Nigeria, there's something that each culture shares a little bit with another, and one of those things is indigo. Indigo is very powerful. Because many years ago, indigo is not only dyed with the fabric. Indigo was a healing, and it's a color of medicine. And also, indigo is a color of love. One thing I've noticed a lot is with the indigo, it's a very smooth and calm work. And you're really interacting with your breath and your hand. And you're so in tune with this piece. And what I see so much around me these days is not only kids my own age, but even adults. Like, they're not focused on on something that speaks to them or that gives them something back. We're all hooked in on like the media, which is kind of scary. It's a huge power. And it's, what I think the grab is, is like an instant gratification because it's right there and you can have it right away and you don't even have to try. And one thing I really like about doing art as an artist is that you put time into this. It's not you do it right away and there it is. It's work, it's a challenge. And when you work hard on something, you get something out of it. Working with Amelia, I find it very special. It's very hard to see a lot of young generation, young people who are really willing to spend their time, to learn. That's why we call it tradition is the time, the spirit, you know, what we put into it. In his, his studio is incredible. Like, you have all these different types of fabric. You have your textured fabric, you have your colored fabric, your white fabric, and it's all either folded or all over the place that he's already been working on it. And then he has his work around and then work that he's gotten from other artists. So it's this very calm space with you're doing indigo, surrounded by indigo. So it's like a step into a world that is not part of the one you're part of daily. And you go in and you work and you breathe and you hear the wind outside and it's calm. And you move the wax and each breath you take, you're putting something into it. It's so important to learn a craft because Right now, there's so many things that are not traditional and that are just not quite as special. And sometimes I think that what's traditional gets lost. And I think it's really important to preserve tradition, not just yours, but if you can learn one, I think it's really important because history is part of what makes us. Working with Amelia, it make me feel like, wow. If I remember when she doesn't hear from me, she contacted me like, Gasali, are we gonna work again sometime this week? When young generation reach out to you like that, I think it make you feel like, wow. She's very into it, she really want to learn. And that make me even want to give her a lot of my, what I know about my craft and my culture to share with Amelia as well.